I vow to openly welcome those around us to reflect the love that we share together. I vow to support you in your weakness and revel in your strength. And I vow to raise our family with the values we both share. Our love has always been something intimate and deeply personal, like a stolen smile when making eye contact from across a room, or a quiet proposal over takeout in a foreign hotel. I want to thank you, Martin, for being the lucky guy that's taken my special girl. I told you, ours is a special person. I want to thank uh, Mitch and Feli for raising a wonderful child. You know, Ari, we met her about over five years ago and, you know, we knew at that point in time that she was the right person for Martin. Cater. From the day we first met, I've been ruined. You never know how incomplete you really are until you find the better half of yourself. Whether or not I realized it at the time, I was doomed to walk out of that Tony Romas missing a big part of myself. We've spent the last six years figuring out how the pieces fit in today with all the people we love. We're officially completing ourselves. I commit myself to you and all the little things that make us, us. I promise to put you first, last, and everything in between. I promise to always know that word you're looking for but can't seem to think of. I promise to let you peel all the sticky things off every new appliance we buy. I promise to write thank you cards, and I promise to learn to appreciate flowers. And most of all, I promise to love you like Kanye loves Kanye. I love you, Ari Cater, and I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you. Martin, I never told you this, but I spent a lot of time in Bruce's office <laughs> growing up. And um, as a young girl, crazy about boys, we would sit in Bruce's office and pray for my future husband. <laughs> we would pray to God to guide and strengthen my future husband so he would be well prepared to handle this. 